Uh, Michael, a terrific weekend, um, bar one, of course, with Godiva Rock. It was a forgetful day, but we have a look at her this morning and she appears to be as well as you could hope. Yeah, look, she, we were disappointed, you know, because she had, you know, it was, wasn't an awkward spot she was in, but she still travelled really well, had a nice run. And he got off the fence, which was where the track was best, uh, and just didn't accelerate. And on the line, lost her back footing, you know, I thought she'd broken down and lost her back legs. And she pulled up, um, the vet had a look at her, we quickly back to have to see her, and uh, she was definitely not right behind, you know. She was trotting with this really ataxic walk, which is sort of an uncoordinated walk behind. And we thought she might have ripped her back or something. Anyway, she wasn't in distress, her heart rate was good in that, but she just couldn't control her back end very well. So it sort of worried me a bit. So we sent her down to the vet and we scoped her as well. And she had actually had a, a bl internal bleed. So she's bled. And um, whether, the, whether the ataxia was caused because, you know, of the bleeding has sort of cut off her oxygen a fair bit and she was a bit loose behind. Um, she seems fine since. She has eaten up and she's been in the paddock for two days. She's had some butte though. Seems fine. Um, look, at this stage, I think I'd probably forget about the ataxia. I think it's probably just something that was caused by the bleeding. I mean, I think... Uh, we'll give her some antibiotics for uh, four or five days and probably give her a six-week break and let her get her, her lungs settled down. I mean, there's been a lot of uh, respiratory disease this year. Uh, you know, there's been a hell of a lot. The, they're seeing a lot on scope at the races. Horses that, like, she had a scope clean for the week. We scoped them all in our pre-race, and she was clean as a whistle, but um, must have had some allergy or, you know, dust or something or pollen counts high, and their lungs get inflamed, and then they rupture under high pressure, so... Um, she wouldn't have shown any signs before the race. I was really pleased with her and um, look, she'll be fine. I mean, you know, six weeks off won't hurt her and there's plenty of race in the spring for her. So in this instance, the pulmonary hemorrhage is invariably caused by some sort of inflammation. It's not necessarily a disaster long term? No, well, she's not a bleeder. We know we see horses that bleed constantly. She's never had, we, we keep an eye on them pretty closely. She's never had any issues that way. So it'd be a one-off thing. Um, uh, the, the idea is to let it settle down, you know. I mean, you could treat her and probably press on. But you're dressing onto a winter sort of, it's early winter racing, you know. Um, uh, let's just take it that she's still a big immature mare with plenty of talent. Uh, no harm in giving her six weeks now. I think it would make the makings of her really. Mm.